sought to make this right. We visit the capital city of some of the safest, most admired, and otherwise privileged beings this planet has ever seen. So for the setting, imagine you're approaching this general space, this general area that has these different town cubes that people congregate around in order to get information about things and happenings that they're interested in. It's kind of open access to a certain extent. There's an alert coming from one of the town cubes, and you approach and you see someone you recognize, and they're talking about a murder attempt, and you ask, what is this? Now, this is where the mediators of boxes come in. And now, just one thing on the other side. I just happened to take some random, totes random pictures online. There's, there's nothing that's familiar. It's not like, oh, they're all white. That's not what you're supposed to take from this. The reason they all, all look the same, they're dressed the same, is because they're these mediators of boxes. So these mediators of boxes are the people who sit in that square, in that area, and collect that information, because not everyone can spend that much time looking at that. So out of the kindness of their hearts, they take the time to stay in that area and collect that information and then relay that to the people who have questions about things that may have been said in these various town cubes. And this is what they said. This is what you need to know. While she was recounting the stunning turn of events that occurred on the 6th, she was telling us about how she perceived that there was a potential attempt at assault on her life through Leary. And this stunning turn of events should not be allowed to stand. Look at her. Look how look at how distraught she is. And to add to all this historically horrific situation, she did add that in the past she had been victimized sexually. Now through some of the similar technology that enables these town cubes, you also have access to certain information. So you pull out your source of information, your portal into the information sphere, and you find out that, no, actually, I've heard about this story. That wasn't really the case. This was a security guard coming in to check on the location where this individual was. This guard was part of the people tasked to secure the entire complex that this individual was in. There had been a break-in in a different location at a different time by some people with unknown actual reasons and intentions to be there. But this specific guard themselves had not been sent by the person that this person alluded they had been sent by. Sure, considering it was a tense situation, the guard or the individual might have been cross. He might have looked at her sternly and yelled at her and said some things like that. Sure, but objectively, the damsel's distress was not as she claims. Now enters this individual. Let's just call him Lafayette. I just picked this for some random reasons also. Totally random, not related to where I actually got this interaction from. So I'm going to do a little of an accent inflection here. And these things are subjective, I'm not intending to offend anyone, but here we go. So Lafayette has popped in here after me pointing out the objective information about the situation. Are you serious? <laughs> that's probably not the voice that I was going to go with, huh? But that's what I'm doing. And what you need to do is possibly ask yourself why you thought I might go with a different voice over this. Because why are you assuming that people who appear a certain way are also going to speak in a certain way, huh? Huh? Anyway, so back to what Lafayette was saying here. You are, of course, entitled to your own opinion, but seems you just don't like white Hispanic women speaking their truths. Minimizing her experience is not a good thing. She just has a different way of dealing with tragedy. I'm sure the masses will accept what she and the MOB say and not add her experience to their actual real judgments about any people she says victimized her and or attempted to murder her. Hey, we found him. I've got an idea. Let's lynch him. 